friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have coffee. Also, I have a Dollarama haul. Dollarama, you heard me right, not Dollar Tree. Dollarama, this is from my trip to Canada and I have a whole bag of stuff that I picked up. Now, I will give you the prices of each item in the Canadian dollar. Um, just as a point of reference, a dollar twenty-five Canadian is about a dollar U.S. So um, the four-dollar items cost me about three twenty-five. Just as a heads up, a dollar Rama is a store. I'm gonna say, I mean, it's almost very similar to like a Dollar Tree deals, Family Dollar, but clean. And bigger and better. Almost, I mean, almost as good as like a Walmart, but not as much options, if that makes sense. I mean, they have they have all the, the departmental stuff, um, even like housewares. You know, it's a neat little store, and I really enjoyed it. And I went to four different ones to get you with a selection to share. So let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, I went to a store, not Dollarama, called a little bit of Britain to get some candy to share with my, uh, ooh, what is that? With my work people and with my niece for her Easter basket. If you're not aware, um, in Europe and other countries, chocolate is different than it is in the US. It's a different formula. And we like that. So this is Cadbury Mini Mix. It has dairy milk, a little cream egg, a dame and a white chocolate. And these are just pre, I believe these are all pre-wrapped, I hope. Yes. These are all pre-wrapped chocolates. So I'll open them up. This was $13.99 Canadian. This is all imported from England. I grabbed some, just dairy milk, because this is great chocolate. So I grabbed two of these, and these were $3.99 Canadian. I got a flake chocolate, which are delicious, just different chocolates. I got a Maltese bunny, and I believe the Maltese are malted, if I had, like, with malted chocolate. This is for Sarah. Um, I grabbed her a Cadbury caramel egg, and I got just a Cadbury... This is just a dairy milk bar. I grabbed a variety. Like I said, I'm going to share some of this stuff. And some of it's going to be for Sarah. And some of it I probably will mail to my brother and sister-in-law in South Carolina. So that was from the import shop. I spent about 30 I have a receipt. Please wait. Thirty-one dollars and forty-five cents Canadian. So you can do the math. It was expensive for candy, but it was necessary. Now this bag is more candy, but this is Canadian candy. So it was not as expensive. And this is a huge thing. These are arrow bars and it's from Nestle, but it's uh, feel the bubbles melt. And it's like, um, I don't think we have anything equivalent, but this is just milk chocolate. It is made in a uh, peanut-free facility. So it's got that. Maltesers are, um, I believe these are malt balls. Yes, yeah, so this is from a, the Canadian version. And I don't know if the Canadian and the European are different. I know that we can't get these in the US. So I grabbed those. Um, a Crunchies bar. And these were like 87 cents, so like 50 cents US. I got these, I'm gonna take to work and share, and some more dairy milk bars. And these are smaller than the ones I bought, but these were, I think, $3 Canadian. And there are four bars in each one of these. And then at a different Dollarama, I saw these, but they were three bars. So, I, you know, different each bar, but I wanted to take a candy bars to work. So I grabbed these for, to take to work. Um, I grabbed for Sarah a Kit Kat, and from what I heard, the Canadian Kit Kats are better than the U.S. I got another Crunchy Bar. I'm not sure who's getting what. With these, I grabbed two Coffee Crisps, 
and I believe these are coffee flavored chocolate, but who knows? So I got two coffee crisps and then I got two Cadbury caramel bars, one for Sarah, one for a work friend, a box of Smarties. So they call these Smarties, which are like an M&M in Canada. We call Smarties those little sugar pressed sugar candies that we used to play when we were little called pills. They call those rockets in Canada. And then I was gifted a bunch from different people. These are maple, pure maple sugar, maple syrup candy. So I grabbed some, I have some of those to share as well. So between all of this chocolate, this next week or two, it'll get distributed. And I think somewhere I have another something or other. I do have one more piece of candy. So that's all for Easter for friends and family. Not for me. And somewhere over here, oh, here it is. The Kinder Egg. So this Kinder Egg, I smuggled it from Canada. These are not legal to bring across the border. Since 2017, these have been outlawed in the United States and people get fined, not for bringing one across, but they try to bring like cases of them in. So the difference between the Kinder Joy, I'm gonna open this up, the Kinder Joy that we get and the Kinder Egg, I will show you. And the reason I had to look this up, the reason these are banned in the US is because there is toys buried inside of this chocolate and that is against our regulation. So you open up the Kinder Egg and inside is the toy. So this is white chocolate with brown chocolate. I heard my um, dear lovely cousin sent me a message that said that there was a recall on some of these. So I need to look that up. I wasn't going to eat the chocolate anyway because I can't have it. And then inside the Kinder Egg is this little egg and there's a toy and you have to build the toy. Right, so you have this little egg, and this one came with, I think it's like the Prince and the Frog. How fun. And you build it, you just snap it together. <laughs> I don't know children's movies and whatnot. There we go. Ah, it's a little frog, and you can open its mouth. And I'm wondering if it's like a stamp of some sort because it looks like I'm reading directions here. There's a crown. Oh yeah. I think you can like stamp paper. Can, yeah, you can, you're not gonna be able to see it. But anyway, it's this little frog. And so in each side, in the inside of each kinder, I get a little bit of chocolate and a toy. And they are not legal in the US. So I am now a smuggler, sorry. Sorry for that, friends. But I have a cute little frog for my desk. Okay, let's go. So, now we're going to get on to some serious stuff. I did find in the Easter section, these are not candy. Guys, this is an Easter egg. You can fill it. It's plastic, but look at it. It looks just like chocolate. So, that'll go in an Easter basket for somebody. I'm, I'm reaching down here because everything is in the bag on the floor next to me. So I'm going to bring some things up. And obviously this is in no particular order because life. Okay. I grabbed two of these zipper pulls to put on my project bags that I got while in Canada. So I have a little maple leaf flag. And then this is just a little maple leaf and it says Canada. And I'm going to put them on the project bags for my cross stitching that I got while in Canada. And then I grabbed this pen on a carabiner and on the extender thingy to put oops, with my projects as well because I like to write stuff on my pattern. So I thought that was fun. These were $2, the pens, and these were $1.50 for the zipper pulls. So those are for me. Um, for Luna, for her Easter basket, Luna is Sarah's little chihuahua. I got this little tiny dog toy. Uh, this was $3, but I thought it was adorable for her. And don't worry, the boys got treats too. So 
She'll love that. That's for Luna. Um, I brought back some socks, a pair for me and a pair for Sarah. So these have moose on them. And these were $2 and it says size is four to 10. So I grabbed those for Sarah's Easter basket. And then for mine, I got these because I like them. I love buying touristy stuff, guys. I just can't help it. Oh, and I have these bags because in Canada, I'm saving these for next year. You have to bring your own bags in or you have to pay for these. And I think they're like a nickel or something. But then they had this bag, which is like a reusable bag for a quarter Canadian. So less than that US. So two of these were 50 cents. I got one for me and I'm going to give one to Sarah. Sarah's my niece just to have. And I will put this with my Canadian stuff because I'm going back next year. And I can then use this when I'm shopping in Canada just as a, an aside. I got some crafty bits, but first I picked up poutine mix. So in Canada, there's a meal that people eat, snack, food, it's poutine, which is a gravy. And, oh, hi Wellington. And you put it over um, French fries and then cheese curds on top. Now, I can't have the fries. I need to find some cheese curds, but Sarah can have the fries. I'll do something else. Make this gravy. I just have to make sure it's vegetarian for her. Cornstarch, dehydrated vegetables, sugar. I mean, this is definitely bad for me. Modified cornstarch, palm oil, caramel, spices. Yeah, so she can have it. And I'll just have a little bit. But poutine, it's a very Canadian thing. So I had to grab that. Um, I bought this. This was $2 Canadian. <gasps> look at all those little, they're just little wooden. But look at the squirrel. I had to have it for the squirrel, but this is for fall. And down here, these little wooden uh, hedgehogs. I can make needle minders for my projects if I want or just use these. And you get four of each, four of each little wooden die. And then the little box that they come in. I thought that was super cute. I've never seen anything like that here. And then I got a pack for $1.25 of three brass rings. I thought that would be fun to do some macrame or hang something like a plant or something like that. And they're just brass rings. They don't open or anything. I just try to find things that we couldn't get here. Then I found these. It's like a stretched canvas but it's wood. This is not canvas. I can put this on my wood burner and make something. I know, isn't that crazy? Or I could just paint on it or whatever. So I grabbed one of these, this size was $2.50 and they had different sizes, but I thought that was sufficient for me. Then they had, and these were $1.25 little paper packs. So it's like scrapbook paper and they get, you get 24 six by six sheets. And I grabbed this one for Sarah because she loves the stripes and floral. And I thought she would enjoy, she uses this with her planner and scrapbooking. And then for me, and I'll share with her if she wants some of these pages. I loved this kind of boho-y French country cottage paper pack. Again, you get 24, and then I grabbed this pack. For me, I just need little pieces of paper. I don't need a huge pack, you know, pic picture pack. Okay, we have more stuff. Oh, we have more Canadian stuff. I'm just gonna have to grab here. Um, I grabbed these push pins. Um, Canadian flag and the maple leaf that says Canada. I'm making a name badge um, for cross stitching retreats. And I wanted to attach a pin from everywhere I've been. So Canada will get on there and then wherever I go, I can put it on the, the ribbon that goes around for my name badge. So I grabbed those. And then I just wanted some Easter stickers and I thought these were adorable. Let's see. 
that'll help you. I love these oh, these stickers. It's they like realistic, but they're also clear around. So I thought for the week of Easter, I could use these for my planner. And the sticker sheet was a dollar twenty five Canadian, which is a dollar US. So very, I mean. Very similar prices, like a five below. You know, prices equivalent to a five below. But wait till you see some of this other stuff. So that was like most of the crafty business. I picked up this storage jar for my coffee bar. I have two brass ones with a wood lid, so I thought this would match. And I could keep coffee or sugar or tea bags or whatever in here. And they had two different sizes, but I just needed this one. Um, yeah, so I grabbed this as glass. Um, oh, guys, the stuff that I bought at this place is crazy. All right, for the boys, I got them a bag of temptation treats. Because they needed a souvenir as well. And this is Mega Pack. Uh, chicken beef turkey, and I think this was like two or three dollars. But I believe this is no, this is made by Mars, the candy manufacturer makes these in Canada, and I'm pretty sure mine are made in the U.S. Yeah, this is Temptations Canada. So I got that for the boys, and then also for them, I got these little spiral toys because I think they will enjoy these or at least Wellington might enjoy these more than the stuffies that Alex likes. So I grab these just to try, see if I can get them some exercise. Okay, for my beach chair this summer for the pool. These are towel clips. So you use them to hold you can use them as chip clips too, but they're kind of big. But you take them to the pool and you can hook your towel onto your chair and it will keep it from blowing away. And they're black cats. So yeah, I sure did buy those. That's for me. And then I grabbed a tripod, which I was gonna open and use up there, but I never did. So we will open it together. And this was, four dollars and i'm wondering if i've never been to a dollar tree plus so i'm wondering if this is equivalent to our dollar tree plus i don't know all right so this comes with it's a little spring mounted so you squeeze it and snap your phone in there and then this is called the octopus. This is silicone and I think you can like stick it to glass, but these also bend. So you can like stand up and this screws in. So this again will go in my travel kit for when I take, go on the road with my channel. And you can like stick it to things and it's like it, you can stand it or make it so it goes on smaller surfaces. So I thought that is perfect for me for travel tripod. I'll have to check and make sure that fits my phone. Um, I have an iPhone 12 Pro. So we'll have to see, but I got that. I didn't end up using it up there. Um, also, let's get these big things. I grabbed for $2, this is a three pack of bottle straw brushes. I use a lot of reusable straws. And I thought for $3, this is Javex brand. It's a straw brush cleaner and I'll give Sarah one. And you can hang it to dry and it, it just goes down into your straw to get them clean. I use, like I said, especially in the summer. I grabbed this as Betty Crocker brand. They had a lot of the Betty Crocker, but this is for my sink. Um, 
so things don't bang around in the sink and break. So I have one, I got two because I have a two-sided sink and I've already used one and they, they work great. They're a little big. My sink is, I think, smallish, but it's fine. It works out well. Um, I'm sorry. What in the heck? This is a Vasta maker. So I can take a piece of zucchini and turn it into like lasagna noodles. It's like a spiralizer for sure. We're going to open this sucker up. It's like a spiralizer, but it makes lasagna sheets instead of small, oops, instead of like spaghetti. And then I can do stuffed like lasagna. And for four dollars, um, yes, please, which would have been three twenty-five US. So you have blades. I'm not gonna take it all apart, but I'll pull this piece out right here. So you would put your there we go. All right. So you would attach your piece of zucchini down the center of this and then you crank it and it slices it off into one long sheet of like hi one long sheet of like lasagna noodles crazy huh we are going to be definitely making something with this this summer because it is zucchini season now i'm not going to take all the pieces out and I think you can do things besides that. Apples, any type of a hard veggie, uh, fruit, zucchini, you know, type stuff. You could do wrapped rolled apples. Okay. What's the matter, buddy? Ugh. Okay, I got you. Somebody is wanting some attention. Nobody wants to see that. Here, do you want a treat? Let me give him one of his new treats. Here, buddy, I got you a new treat. I did. I bought you new ones. Do you like here? Smell here, honey, right here. Here. Sometimes this cat surprises me. They're right here, buddy. He likes the new ones. Okay. Then I got in the kitchen section. I don't remember how much these were, but I think they were like $3, but they're reusable zip bags and you get four of them. And each one of these, um, here we go. I didn't, it's attached, but they're like little snack bags, but they're reusable, which is great for me. And they have a flat bottom, which I like. And they had them in different colors. Pink, teal, I just got the pink. Some of the things I saw at multiple stores. Okay, you're done now, thank you. Some of the things I saw at multiple stores, different colors. Let's see if he'll play with this while I'm talking to you. And these are just springs. So like the the red sink, slaw, sink stopper liner thingy, I saw at red at one store and then white and black at the other. Here. Daddy, here. Here you go. Go get it. No, he doesn't care. He'll play with it later. Okay, just a couple more things. I got some office supplies. This I thought was amazing for a dollar. I got Sarah one too. It's just a little book. But in here are post-it tabs, post-it notes of different colors. How fun is that? So you get one, two, three, four colors of post-it notes. And I love this size for my planner. And then little post-it tabs for your book. And it comes in a little container, a little, you know, protection so it won't get all mangled up. For $1.25, I thought that was pretty fun. Now, Mr. Wellington is looking at his water. Okay, um, then I just grabbed these because I like this size and they were a dollar. So for me, they would have been 75 cents and they're just little binder clips. 
but I like that tiny size. So I just grabbed those for me. And then the last thing I picked up was for gift giving and you get 12 and these are pillow boxes. Hi, sweetie. I know. Um, and what you do, and these may end up being used next year at the retreat, but you fold in one bottom and you fold in the other. And then you do the same on this side. They come already perfect, like scored, so you can just bend them down. Oops. And now you have a little gift box. They're called a pillow box. And you don't have to tape them or anything, they just fold up. So I thought that would be fun for like my table mate gifts. Potentially, I'm just putting a box together. I have an idea of things I would like to bring next year for a table mate gift. And I thought this would be a perfect vessel for that. So I think, oh, here's Sarah's. I think that's everything that I purchased at the Dollarama in Canada. I had so much fun shopping for all of this stuff. It's a new store. They had everything. I couldn't bring it all back. But next year when I go, I will bring you along and pur purchase a whole new set of stuff. Excuse me. All right, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I hope you've enjoyed my couple videos that I've put up about my trip to Canada. And I'm sure there'll be more Stitchy content. I got the message that a lot of you are cross-stitchers. Um, so I think I'll do once a month a uh, video on all my different crafty stuff. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.